everyone welcome back to another weekly vlog so today it is monday the 27th of i'm trying to think of what of december of course also in december because that's just been christmas my brain is really not today but anyway it is currently nearly five o'clock i've been at work this morning the first day back at work since christmas time me and my family did actually go to Edinburgh over Christmas. It was actually amazing. And I've just got a few bits to kind of show you of what I bought in the Boxing Day sales. In the sales, I've gone crap ever since the lockdowns and stuff now. A lot of shops weren't open in Edinburgh. But I did manage to pick up a few things from Stradivarius and Zara. So, oh yeah, and TK Maxx as well. So, I'm going to show you what I've got. I don't mean to buy a lot because I obviously get a lot of things for Christmas, but it's nice to treat yourself with your Christmas money and stuff, you know what I mean? But yeah, so I'm going to show you what I have got here and then I'll kind of show you what I got for Christmas as well. But yeah, I'm really happy with my new purchases. So firstly from Zara, I got this white ribbed long sleeve top. It's part of the Seamless Collection. Oh no, a limitless contour collection. This was $14.99. I got it in an extra small to a small. And I like these kind of tops because you never stretch in the wash and they just go with everything. And you can dress them up or dress them down. So that was $14.99. It's really nice. The Zara clothing is always really good quality and it's just like a perfect colour to go with everything. Then from Zara as well, I got these brown leggings which are actually part of the oh no these are rather various actually but i mean they literally are the same as the Zara ones but these are in a small because they have an extra small i think yeah, these are made in the same kind of place as Zara as well because they get some leggings from Zara and the exactly the same but these are three pounds cheaper but yeah there's some brown ones because i don't actually have a lot of brown in my wardrobe and i really love brown now like, I just love wearing it and I think I do suit the colour a lot. So, I've got them as well because I love them. I then also got these ones which are from Zara. $17.99, extra small, a lovely green colour. I just wanted to kind of update my loungewear kind of... Yeah, what's it called? I don't even know what it's called, but basically just my loungewear wardrobe because I just have really old leggings and yeah, they've gone really loose and yeah, the quality is really bad now so these it was 17.99 a lovely greeny colour then yeah the final pair of leggings i promise so these are from stradivarius as well extra small 14.99 a lovely sage green so i've got the two pairs from stradivarius and one pair from zara yeah, that identical literally identical these are three pounds cheaper for them from stradivarius i got this really cute the top it's more it's like a really well a dark bottled green it has a lot of flowers on it and this was the last size my size so i thought well you know what oh it's 12.99 in the boxing day sale so that was actually an offer i didn't even realize that but extra small it's really cute and it's something i can kind of wear all year round because it's you know, that type of top you know what i mean but yes it's really cute I've tried it on. I love it. And some of the various clothes are really good. I've only ever been there in Holland and I absolutely loved it. It's when I found one in the new shopping centre in Edinburgh. Oh my God, I had to go. But yeah. And then finally, TK Maxx. I love the Juicy Couture. Every time I have been into TK Maxx, there's always been a lot of Juicy Couture, but they're nothing in my size. And... It did actually have some extra small joggers in like a lovely brownie colour, but they were, like, they were too long for me. But yeah, anyway, I got this Juicy Couture hoodie in a extra small. It's like a nudie kind of stony colour and it had the matching bottoms, but in a size small, which would have been too big because I got a really short leg. Some of my PJs, by the way. But yes, I got this. This was... $39.99, so more expensive, but the Juicy Couture is really good. And I know it's very in trend and stuff, and I'm kind of following the trend. But I've literally loved their kind of tracksuits and stuff 
since I was little anyways. I've always wanted one, but yeah, when they came into TK Maxx, of course I had to get one, so that was that. So that's the final thing I've got, and TK Maxx is so good for branded clothing, highly recommend. Now time to film a Christmas haul, because as you can tell, it's all ready to be shown. This jumper off my sister is so nice, it's so lovely and fluffy. I guess my room's a tip, because I did just come back yesterday, and I've not really had a chance to kind of put everything away, but yeah. Yeah, this jumper is so nice. It's lovely. Yeah, my sister got me this also, guys, on Christmas Day. You know how I got my phone screen repaired? Well, I dropped my phone on the floor, on a wooden hard floor. I guess what happened? The phone screen has actually cracked, so I'm just going to show you what... Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, the phone screen has cracked. It still works. See, the phone is fine. It's just all cracked. So when I look at the kind of... The camera on the phone it's all cracked which is great but yeah anyway i'm not gonna bother putting any makeup on for the video because who really has the effort like yeah i'm just gonna get this video filmed and then i'm gonna relax and chill for the evening you know and have a bit of, of chill time the video is now filmed and now it is really dreaded tidy up like you look at all this stuff behind me yeah i'm i'm probably going to be spending about half an hour putting stuff away and finding the space for new presents it's the most boringest thing in the world. Who else agrees with me here? Like, yeah, putting away all your new Christmas presents because, like, you want to leave them out for ages and have them on show, but then you've got to put them away at, at some point. So this is what I I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, I've just seen a of makeup today. I actually got a new, like, a new mascara. The the Maybelline the Lash Sensational because, like, I was using a really old one for ages and like it, it was barely doing anything for my eyelashes. So now that I've got a fresh one to use, my eyelashes are looking longer. They are very gappy, man, because of uh, wearing false eyelashes. Yeah, the glue can pull out your natural ones, but you know what? I don't mind. It is now Tuesday and I am now home. I've actually finished work and I got an early finish. You're yeah, the first ever time at my job where I've actually been able to have an early finish. I was going to finish at five, but instead I finished at three. And thank God because it was dragging. But anyway. I'm in my new PJs, I got off my grandma for Christmas. It is kind of Mickey Mouse face ones, baby blue. I love them so much. I've seen, as I get home from work, I jump straight into my PJs and just live in them. I am really cold, mine, so hence why I have kind of put them on. Dressing the gown is over there, oh my god. I had it on this morning, it's so fluffy. Like, a new sleepwear, when it's like, a brand new. It is so much softer and like, it, it's just so much more comfortable to sleep in. So yeah, I've been living my life <laughs> right now. But yeah, I've had a no makeup face again. Only a little bit of mascara, but that's not really makeup. That's just like for your eyes, isn't it? But yeah, um, so I guess. But I actually got this time out diffuser for Christmas off Scott. It's actually here. How cute is that? And it's like electronic and you put water in it and you put... Um, essential oil in it i've got it in renew i'm actually going to test it out today because scott has one his looks completely different to this because his is like a round one whereas this is just like a little one which is so cute so you put the water in here um if i know how to work it it comes a little plug there i'll need that then you put the water and like a drop of the oil in apparently i'll have to read the instructions so i am going to test it out and i will show you what it is like pretty much i'm excited because i feel as if i need chill time i've set you up and it's really cool because like it's electric and like you can have a light on or off like this and you can change the mist setting so i'm gonna have this on for an hour can you see the mist like the mist up there look how cool is that oh my god it actually smells so good highly recommend this i'm gonna have an addiction to buying essential oils now for my room but oh my god this is so cool i love it oh my god it's the best thing ever i'm back home from work and of course i have jumped straight into pages because you know comfort i've also made myself a hot chocolate because I never really have them often. I only really have them like once every two weeks in the winter time. 
I can never drink the hot drinks daily or in the summertime. It just, you know, and plus the milk, it gives me a bad tummy. So I always have to have it the half or half milk, otherwise I'll just get like a really sore tummy. But yeah, I'm buffing this. I'm chilling. Again, you know, makeup face, honestly. I'd never make an effort for work because what is the point? When you're wearing face masks and stuff, it comes off your chin and your nose anyway and like it makes your skin go really spotty when you have a full face of makeup on and like you're wearing like a sweaty mask all day on your face. is isn't a good combo, I don't think, anyway. But yeah, her mother is making tea again. She's making chicken chips, veg and gravy. So I'm very looking forward to that. And if we're putting we're having a Yule log because she actually did buy a Yule log from, it was at m &S. And it's actually really nice. You can have some ice cream. You can have some ice cream with that for pudding as well. But yeah, I'm chilling. I love hot chocolate. I actually have the Galaxy one at the moment. The most favourite hot chocolate brand is the Options one. Oh my god, it is unreal. It is so good. Also, I barely have any chocolates been left in my little tub, so that's really sad. But yeah, the plans for New Year's Eve. I'm going to be going to Scott's house. I'm also going to be like they're counting down and stuff and have like a little celebration. We don't know whether they want to go out on Christmas Eve. Not Christmas Eve, the New Year's Eve. It's already been Christmas Eve. What am I going about? I'm not sure if they want to go out because it'll just be absolutely packed everywhere. I think on New Year's Day, his family are actually going to be making us like a meal, so that'd be nice. Yeah, also, I should be expecting a couple of parcels tomorrow. Scott's birthday presents and something else for me but i can't like actually say because it, it is kind of linked to scott's present in a way not really but it's the same type of thing i just ran myself a lovely bath it obviously is going to be really blurry but i have a couple of candles on here you know a gingerbread candle and like a, a moroccan candle and i'm also going to be using a lush bubble bar it's like a little candy cane one it's going to try and show you all this is obviously going to be really bad Look at how cute that is. I'm not going to like the break a bit off and have a lovely bath because my shoulders are absolutely killing me. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do and it smells so nice. Hey, it is Thursday. I'm looking very pink on my face because I have actually it waxed my upper lip. If anything, New Year's Eve, which is actually tomorrow. To be honest, I'm not really going to be doing anything exciting tomorrow. I'm going to be working probably until like two, half two and then I'm going to be going over to Scott's and... I think we're just going to be having like a few drinks at his but I just wanted to like smooth upper lip because like it was really hairy and I did my underarms as well so it was nice and smooth and I also exfoliated most of my tan off it never comes off straight away as you can tell it is still slightly there because it's like my natural colour and like it's a bit brown still it's slowly coming off and I also have you know, my little diffuser on as well yeah, that's actually lasted me three days worth of what would you even call it like mist i don't even know but anyway an exciting parcel arrived i have told scott not to watch this part of the video so if you do come across this video scott and you're watching up until this moment i'm warning you to click off the video now because you don't want to ruin your birthday present anyway something arrived from asos so basically Scott who really likes his shopping on ASOS, right? And I was having a look on there, I was kind of looking at clothes first, and then I thought, well, he's been talking about his shoes and trainers and stuff, he'd like to get some like for his birthday. So I was having a look, and yeah, there wasn't yeah, really many. It, there were some really nice yeah, New Balance ones, but yeah, they were only going up to like 11 and a half, and he is a size 12. So and most of them were sold out anyway, so I was thinking hey, what other brands of shoes do you like? So I came across some Adidas shoes and they actually have some Oswegos on there. I absolutely love the Adidas Oswegos. I really want a pair myself. I don't actually have a pair myself. They actually had the most beautiful mini green pair on there. I've never seen that colour like in any other shop. So when I found these I had to order them for Scott they were very yeah, they were very low in stock as well so uh, I'm actually going to show you this I actually really want to know my size 
here they are. How nice are they? Yeah, they look a lot nicer in real life. I promise you. Because they're a size 12, they are huge. Look! <gasps> it's like two of my heads. Anyway, yeah. It's like a creamy colour on the bottom and then it's all minty green. Absolutely stunning. I can definitely tell you'll absolutely love these. You know, I'm hoping so anyway. You just have a couple of pair of freely trainers which are a very which are a very similar style to these but I know he's gonna love them. The colour it looks ten times better in real life. But yeah, I've got him then for his birthday. I am excited because I'm pretty much nearly finished. I don't know if I actually mentioned earlier in this vlog but I ordered him a personalised Yankee candle. I'm hoping it'll smell nice. So yeah so I think I'm only going to get him like a little more present and then I'm actually thinking of taking him away for like a spa day for his birthday. Instead of going to cities and stuff, it'll be nice to go for like a spa day somewhere. So I'm hoping he'll be able to go somewhere. But yeah, I think that's what I've got with so far. The UPS, they were actually meant to be sending the parcel today. I mean delivering the parcel today, but then it's been rescheduled for tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that tomorrow. But other than that, I don't have anything else going on with my life, apart from being New Year's Eve tomorrow. I can imagine it could be very busy in town tomorrow. I'm definitely not going to be in town. You'll not find me in town because it, it, it literally is awful where I live in Kyle. It is New Year's Eve, guys. Like, hi. I, I also have a new jumper on my sister. How cool is this jumper? I'm not actually sure where it's from, but it's very cool and funky, so I'm going to wear it. I am going to work in 10 minutes, but I've just had a parcel arrive from Yankee Candle. So it's obviously the candle I've ordered for Scott's birthday. I'm excited. So I actually ordered two candles because I think you had to spend, it was £30, £35 to get free shipping. So I got like myself like a Christmas Eve candle. Um, a large one for £12.50 so I'm hoping it is in the same boxes as otherwise it would be weird if it wasn't obviously wouldn't it yeah I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like right it looks like there's only one candle in here and I don't know why that is there's only one candle but I don't know why there's only one candle because I've ordered two Right. I'm really confused as to why that's happened. I don't know why that's happened, but anyway, I've got the Yankee candle here. I'm actually going to show you it on the back camera. Oh my god, it's so cool. I want to smell it and hopefully he likes it. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. Mmm. It's not too strong, it's just like a nice scent. I'm really confused about the way my other candle has gone. I really don't know what what's happened to that. Like, is that a bit weird? Here's the candle. It says, "Yeah, happy birthday, Scott." It looked from your alley. It has a photo of us two at Edinburgh Castle. How cute is that? So that's gonna be his birthday present. I am really confused as to where it is all the all the candle is because I definitely don't order two. But I'm hoping it'll arrive in like a few days. Maybe sometimes it might come separately, which is kind of weird, but. It is what it is, I suppose. So that is that. I'm going to keep it in the box, actually, just to make sure it's nice and safe and secure. But yeah, I think it's really going to like that. I'm at the salon. And how relaxing does this look? Have some little candles on. and it's So cute. I think I'm going to put these on, actually, because these are so nice. There we go. A little starlight, because it's still kind of New Year, Christmas. But yeah, it's looking very cute. I'm pink. I'm back home after a very quiet a day at work. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god, it's blinding. But oh my god, the lighting is so good. It makes my makeup look so nice. I've got a couple of dots there from when in my face mask is actually the makeup off and he's topped up again. But yeah, I've finished work for the day. I, I'm going to have my lunch come absolutely starving. My mum's actually making it for me, bless her. So that's going to be really nice. Um, and then I, I'm just going to pack. The rest of my haul doll and wrap the Scott's dad's birthday present because it was his birthday yesterday. I don't know if I've already showed you all, but I've got him 
it's such a dad present to get but i've got it's got to add this it's like a lot of screwdrivers i think and screws i don't really know but yeah he said he wanted it so i've got him that but yeah so i'll get my lunch in like 10 minutes i'm absolutely starving i don't know what i'm having because my mum's actually just put the oven on for me but i'm, I'm really hungry i'm also wearing my baby on my sweat jewelry today um i'm a necklace and then my little bracelet i've been trying in to take the other link out of this i think it's got to be a, a dad job because i don't know how to do it and i don't you want to damage my bracelet so i think i'm gonna have to ask my dad to sort this out for me it is such a pretty the watch though i got it off scott for my birth you know birthday christmas so cute he chose it out all by himself i didn't even tell him i wanted to watch i did really need one because like the mine is broke that's really cute that you got me one but yeah i'm gonna show you my parents the other yankee candle i got for scott for his birthday because i actually showed them yet and i think they'll be interested oh take my bag off so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and have my lunch i'm actually starving yeah, we're cooking away if it's not all. What is that? The 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 Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. It's gonna be a really good, amazing year, best year ever. All our worries will disappear. No, I don't believe that for one minute. In Scott's new little cake shop. And he's just in the kitchen through there. He's still getting work done to the kitchen, but this is all pretty much done. There's obviously like a few bits and bobs everywhere. But it's looking pretty cute. I'm just gonna log onto my laptop and do some editing while he bakes. But yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no, no paparazzi, please. Oh, sorry. Bye. <laughs> it was in the car. It yeah, waiting for Scott's granddad because we're actually meeting for Sunday lunch at our favourite pub. It's called the Drovers Rest. It's actually really nice. It's called the Dro. It's called the Drovers Rest. Like the Drovers Rest. Oh, look at your eyes. Wow. They light up in the and um, it light up in the sun. But yeah. You're having like a Sunday lunch, just waiting for his granddad and then Sunday lunch! You're probably gonna go into town and have a look in a few shops maybe. I've got my voucher for TK Maxx. Yeah, thanks to my grandma, that got you that. Thank you. Yeah, but yeah, we're just waiting, so that's why I thought I would vlog. I did not vlog all day yesterday because you just having like a nice time you spent with the family. You just got had made your roast dinners, we had ox mm. cheek, we had your rabbit and chicken and it was all very nice. Rabbit. Although duck, duck I mean. <laughs> I don't I'm getting confused. But yeah, it was lovely. So now we're having another roast dinner today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll all be roasting it out today. We might have something else. Yeah, we'll see. Fancy I wonder what's on the menu today. Else. I know. Yeah, but look at the views outside. Move your head. Oh, I thought it was a mountain, but it's just a cloud, I think. But yes, it's very scenic where we live, isn't it? In Cumbria. Yeah, we yeah. are very lucky to live here because some people don't have the lovely views of fields and mountains and stuff where we live because from my house you can sometimes see the mountains well, as long be. as it isn't cloudy and stuff but yeah it's quite nice but yeah anyway i didn't notice that until a few weeks ago i know i've been baiting yours for a while have I? no you haven't you have to go back sometime but yeah i'm hungry are you i'm starving oh look at this oh. turkey fritters I've got your hard copy. I know, look at the size of yours. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It does. Mmm, ah, no, they're lovely. Leg, I'm now back home and we did go into town after being at the pub and I think we only had a look in TK Maxx for Poundland. Yeah, the women's clothes in my TK Maxx is actually dreadful. There's only like a few racks of clothes. However, yeah, the men's bit is like they're great for clothes. It's, like loads of racks and loads of everything yeah, but yeah, there was barely any candles or anything but i think it's just because of like i think it's because after christmas obviously we won't get as many deliveries for stuff so it was very disappointing and palmland it was pretty crap as well but you know it's fine i'm burning this candle it's still going strong i've still got about a quarter of it left it smells so good i've i think just ran up the stairs hence why i sound a bit out of breath but yes i've just had a more makeup day today and to be honest 
yeah my skin does feel a lot better for it because i have had makeup on for two days in a row now um so yeah i'm just kind of feeling the no makeup vibes but i have my goose and gander jumper on and i also have yeah, my new leggings on from stradivarius i think it's called honestly it's such a good shop i love it yeah this color goes with anything as well actually yeah really high waisted show off my little bum as well because i do have like a little bit of like a like a cute a small peachy little bum i'd, I'd say so yeah and i've also cut my hair because i just wanted to i kind of make myself look a bit better but i'm thinking of filming a mini shopping haul even though i've hardly bought anything i don't know why i'm kind of thinking get like a youtube video film because i just want to keep on top of stuff plus i do have to upload one onto youtube so i think i'm going to get on with that because when i was in scott's bacon room i did try to upload it but i didn't have enough time to upload it in time so i did kind of have to stop it i've just realized i've got some vimp on my new slippers oh my god oh what am i like i actually spill my glass of of him taught all the time oh my god at least better come out these are brand new slippers i've hardly had these on either you're not always going to get erect in the end aren't they like slippers always break after a while you'll have to do but honestly these are so comfortable i don't want to talk about them all the time but they're just the best but yeah so i'm at work tomorrow i think i'm working like 12 until 5 so like a nice easy little shift then i'll be going back home probably editing a video also my mum has been taking down yeah, the christmas tree and all all the decorations today so i might actually do the same because it is no longer christmas or new year anymore but i really hope that everyone had a nice new year though guys because i mean i don't really celebrate it but it might just stay up until 12 o'clock on new year's no a new year's eve a night so it was fairly all right even though even though it was four and a half sleep, but you know, anyway, I'm gonna get some work done because I'm way behind. I, I need to clean my room, but you know, it's, you know, you just don't have the effort to do anything. Like, yeah, it's a Sunday, and Sundays they're there for a reason to have like a nice lazy day, you know what I mean? Hey, look what I've just found in my cupboard from Christmas. I remember vlogging this or something, or I think it's actually in my Christmas haul, and I said it'll be gone by next week. Well, it hasn't. I've not even had it yet, so I'm excited to have this. I'm actually going to be filming a mini clothes haul from what I've got in a Boxing Day sales because I am fairly struggling with video ideas. So if you have any video ideas that I could film, if you want me to film more hauls, because I know that I don't actually upload as many kind of shopping hauls anymore or challenges or food videos, just let me know because I'm always up to new ideas and I always want to film videos like you want to film but anyway i've got a three bit candle on over there it's an ikea one and it actually smells of vanilla it actually smells so good i also have yeah, my cherry and the vanilla yangi candle on over there and then my little gingerbread candle which is still burning away there and i also have my little fairy lights on honestly primark fairy lights are the best but yeah i'm just uploading yeah, the video it's uploading fairly quick because recently youtube has been taking like an hour and I have to upload videos and like it's been happening to everybody else on YouTube. I don't know what that is because like your know, Wi-Fi seems to be working all right at the moment, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm not going to bother putting any makeup on because I really can't be bothered. I'm, I'm just going to film no makeup on because you know what? This is going to be your many years resolution to just feel more confident within myself and you not have to worry about your feeling ugly about makeup on because I know that a lot of us are self-conscious about the way we look, but the money goes for solution is not be self-conscious and not worry about what all the people think of me because i think about that a lot i always think oh what if they think yeah this is about me you know i'm gonna stop it i'm probably cut down on chocolate i'll probably say it's for like a week and then i'll probably eat even more than what i usually do but yeah yeah comment down below the your guys is new year's resolutions because i like to hear them and yeah, maybe you can inspire me to maybe do more <laughs> if this new year i don't know but yeah yeah i'm gonna chill and have some chocolate cause i'm actually really hungry yeah the food is really nice i think i actually showed it um scott had a pheasant pie his granddad had a christmas hot dog thing yeah they both look really good and then i, I had these turkey fritters and yeah they were really nice but this had a lot of onion in them and like i like onion to like a certain extent and because like it was red onion it was really strong it was still really nice though but it just got a bit much in the end but yeah, yeah the food is really nice like 
if you live in Carlisle or Cumbria, head over to the Drover's Rest because we're actually going to be working with them. With both our, uh, what they call businesses, because it's Scott's Cake Business and My Beauty Business. Yeah, if you don't follow them, do the kicks you crave, the makeup by the homes, follow them. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. My hair is looking a wee bit crazy, but you know, it's fine. I have my new hoodie on from TK Maxx. The Juicy Couture, it's so cute, it's like the perfect nude colour. I've had my tea, I've picked Bonnie up from work, so life's good. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I think I'm going to put some more water and oil in, in my little diffuser. Then I am going to put my PJs on because I will not be more comfortable. I mean, I am really comfortable wearing this outfit, but nothing beats fluffy PJs, you know. I'm still burning this candle. I did have a couple of other ones on but decided to uh, blow them out because I was going out before. It's hair wash day tomorrow so unfortunately I won't be able to keep these curls in. But I'm thinking of just curling my hair tomorrow and not putting any makeup on because like I'm actually feeling this no makeup like curled hair vibe like who else love that type of vibe like I feel like your hair definitely changes how you look compared to your makeup sometimes. I know makeup you can completely it change how you look facial wise but i think how you have your hair kind of it changes what you look like as well like if i can have curly hair for the rest of my life i literally would another new year's resolution is to have clear skin i know it's quite far-fetched but i i'm gonna attempt to do my skincare every single day and that is quite a big deal for me because i can never even do it like twice a week so i'm i am going to have clear skin I, yeah, to be honest, my skin isn't too bad. I do have oily skin, which means I do have the blackheads constantly and I do break out everywhere. And with mask wearing, it does become more difficult because your skin sweats and stuff and like it creates a bit of build for bacteria in the mask. But I am going to make it in my goal this year to have clear skin as well because I did get a new cleanser for Christmas. So I am going to make the most of it and hopefully... By the end of this year, I will create a totally different person skin wise. I will never have to wear makeup ever again. Imagine a makeup artist who never wears makeup for the rest of her life. <laughs> oh, imagine. Anyway, yes, I've been booking in a few people because I've actually created a January special offer for the whole of January because obviously it, it is a bad month for sales and stuff, and any place it's just like a quiet month. So I I've been booking some people in, in my little diary, and yeah, so anyway, I'm going to jump straight in my PJs, I feel as if you know, my period's going to come soon, because the girls can relate to this, you know when you've got, you know when you have those weird pains, it's like, it's not painful, but it's like a weird feeling where it's like a pre-period sign of your period's going to come, I'm having that type of thing, and I'm worried in case it's going to happen when I wear my new leggings, so I'm definitely... I'm definitely going to be changing into something more suitable for my period type uh, clothes. Only girls can relate to this obviously, but yeah, it, it can be difficult being a woman, so I'm going to get sorted into some probably older PJs just in case. I just want to be open and honest because, you know, it's my channel. I pretty much share my life on here, so I, I might as well tell you what I'm actually doing right now. But yeah. I just want to be chilled out and just sleep because actually I'm really tired. I mean, we did have a light in, but I just feel really tired. Do you know what I mean? It's having days where you just you, you want to sleep as soon as you wake up. That is me right now. Oh my god, guys, you won't believe me, right? So if you're a girl, you'll understand again. So as I said, I had that pre-period feeling. So I went to the toilet and changed my underwear to period underwear because we obviously have to have like period underwear and normal underwear because that's just us otherwise yeah, there would be ruined if we had our normal underwear on you know what i mean so i changed my period underwear just to be safe i had a wee obviously and yeah, there was no sign of of any of any bleeding type thing and as soon as i walked into my bedroom it literally started like if that isn't good timing i don't know what is it's really weird how i had no sign of it until i walked into my room like how weird is that but yeah i just must be planning this year out right because honestly i don't know like i feel as if it's been a good year so far i mean scott had our first argument of the year last night because he spilled a glass of water and he told me off for not and he told me off for not helping him dry it but 
we don't need to talk about that you know it's fine but yeah but anyway <laughs> i'm now gonna end this weekly vlog yeah what a lovely way to end the weekly vlog I i'm very sorry if you are disgusted by me but this is in my life this channel okay i share i don't share everything but i like to share the good bits the more kind of bad bits the kind of gross bits in some people's eyes probably but yeah you know it's fine but it's obviously sunday it's the last day of the week i will be weekly vlogging tomorrow i've got a lot of editing to do because i still have a christmas vlog to edit so i better get editing uh, really so yeah but if you guys have enjoyed this weekly vlog please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and i will see you all in my next videos Bye, everybody.